Located at one of the crossroads of the world, Singapore's strategic position has helped her grow into a major entrepot and financial center for trade, communications, and tourism. Today, Singapore proudly owns the world's busiest port, best airport, and best airline. Singapore is also well known around the world as a garden city. Though there are many glittering skyscrapers, there are a lot of green trees and beautiful plants along the roadsides and around the island. This is attributed to the continuous effort of the Singapore government in planting trees and plants. Singapore's uniqueness stems from her harmonious blend of race and culture. The immigrants of the past have given her a mixture of Malay, Chinese, Indian and European. Each racial group has its own distinctive culture and there are colorful festivals of special significance all year round. Although the festivals are special to certain races, it is nonetheless enjoyed by all. With open attitude towards spirituality, sincere truth seekers in Singapore thus invited Supreme Master Ching Hai to share her knowledge and wisdom in several occasions. We now invite you to listen to Supreme Master Ching Hai's lecture entitled Love is the Greatest Law in the Universe, delivered on September 24, 1994, in Singapore. Master, is it all right for us to donate our organs even before death, for example, kidney? Is it all right for us to accept a donated organ? Of course, it's all right. It's all right. Whatever good for you and for other people, and you can afford it, then it's all right. Why not? Huh? What's wrong with it? <laughs> Bad karma. Bad karma. <laughs> Or you help other people, you don't care about bad karma anymore, okay? You can go to hell for other people, no problem. Don't worry about bad karma, okay? Of course, when, when it's not necessary and you try to overdo things, and when you do things, you do charitable acts, you expect the rewards, you know, that I am a good person, I am a bodhisattva, I am a saint, and God will love me more, God will give me more money and things like that. Then that is bad karma. But when you do it out of love, you know, love is the greatest law in the universe. Anything can be cleansed away by true love. So when you do things in a charitable manner, do it with love. Don't worry about yes. karma. If I worry about karma, I would not dare to to come out and give you initiation. Huh? Because a lot of karma. <laughs> In the Bible, it is written that God told Noah that meat will also be food for him and his descendants. I don't believe God will give such an allowance, perhaps unless for some special reason. Uh, I find it hard to explain to my Christian friend. Could you please enlighten me? Thank you. Well, God has told Noah to store a lot of things in the ship. Yeah? And meat, not necessarily, always means uh, flesh. Yeah? In the ancient Bible, ancient uh, language, the word for meat it means meal, something like meal, M-E-A-L, meal, food. Yes. Uh, for example, the Indian people would tell you in Indian they they call some kind of uh, candy sweet meat. Huh? Is that not so, sister? Yeah, they call it sweet meat. And all the Indian master. The most famous and non-famous and all the sadhus and all the gurus, they eat sweet meat. What do you say they eat meat? Huh? Understand what I mean? Huh? Yes. Have you been to Indian? You eat that kind of sweet meat. Very sweet. Terribly sweet. Sweeter than sugar. <laughs> Once you eat it, you never forget India. It's so sweet. <laughs> and they call it sweet meat. For example, like that. And therefore, the kind of meat that God wants Noah to put, not necessarily means flesh, means food. Capish? Many things in the Christian uh, Bible is difficult for the lay person to understand. 
Uh. But let's put it this way. If you love your dog, for example, you, you ride dogs and cats, you wouldn't want to kill them and eat them. So why discriminate between a dog, a cat, your pet birds, and other outside birds, and outside cats, dogs, or other animals, like chickens and ducks and ox and cows, and things like that? You know what I mean? The way you love your dogs and your cats and your children. You could also love a cow and a pig. Okay? So that's the way of love. Therefore, because of this law of love alone, we would not believe that God would let us kill animal and eat. Also in the Bible, God already said very clearly, who told you to kill all this she, goats and he, buffalo, to make offering to me? Stop all this. Uh, a kid of the innocent lives. Otherwise, when you pray to me, I will not listen. Huh? God say that clearly. So no need to to ask me any of this fundamental question. You should read more the Bibles. Yes, because in the Bible there are many many hints inside. Not only hints, very obvious statement that God say we don't touch meat. Huh? Meat for the belly and the belly for the meat, and God will destroy both meat and them. Is that not so? That means don't touch meat. Also, he said, don't mix around with the people who eat meat and drink wine. Is that not so? Yes. yes. That's very clear. So how would he say that and then give Noah meat? Huh? Must be a very contradictory God. <laughs> huh? Who care about that kind of God, if He really exists? Uh, we just care more consistency, okay? In the Bible, mention about meat very few, mention about vegetarian a lot. I have already uh, made some references for you in the uh, Why do we need to eat vegetarian? Remember? Yes. All right. Some of the diseases related to meat consumption. Cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children. Antibiotic-resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus, blue tongue disease, E. coli, Salmonella, bird flu, mad cow disease, or Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, 90% of the population at risk, pigs disease, or PMWS, listeriosis, shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia, Campylobacter, Clostridium difficile, diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock. Some of the costs of meat eating. Infertility. Eating just one serving of meat per day increases the risk of women's infertility by 32%, with additional meat consumption increasing the risk. Heart disease. Over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least 1 trillion US dollars a year. Cancer. Over 1 million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat related cancers every year. Diabetes 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment. Obesity Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight, with 400 million more who are obese. Costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental Use up to 70% of clean water. Pollute most of the water bodies. Deforest the lungs of the earth. Uses up to 43% of the world's cereal. Uses up to 85% of the world's soy. Cause world hunger and wars. 80% cause of global warming. Plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption. Bacterial microbes, pesticides and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. Breast, prostate and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk. Hysteria and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis.
classified as a major allergen, lactose intolerance, plus more. Some of the tragic tolls of alcohol. 1.8 million alcohol-related deaths per year worldwide. Cost of alcohol-related illnesses, 186.4 billion US dollars in the United States. Up to 210 to 665 billion US dollars globally. Disease. Higher amounts of alcohol increase the cancer risk. Even half a glass of wine daily increases the risk of mouth or throat cancer by 168%. Cancer of the liver, breast, colon, liver disease, cardiovascular disease, metal toxicity, brain damage, amnesia and dementia, brain shrinkage, organ failure, heart, liver, kidneys, stomach, pancreas, eyes, birth defects, mental retardation, fetal alcohol syndrome, stunted growth, facial deformity, sudden infant death syndrome, miscarriage, alcohol related violence, child abuse, 50% of cases, violence toward loved ones, 30% of cases, violent acts, 40 to 80% of cases, Suicides, 20 to 50 percent of cases. Plus more. I learned from a Christian missionary that people in India refuse to help people with leprosy as they believe that they are undergoing the karma of their past lives. As a result, the Christian missionary have to build hospitals for the lepers. Was the attitude of the local Indians right? Well, in every country there are people and people and people, right? No need to say just a few Indians represent the whole Indian community. In India, I have seen Indian people serving Indian leprosy. Uh, for example, the Radha Swami, one of the branches, they also build hospital for the leprosy. If I'm not correct, you tell me, is that correct? Yes, it's correct, yes. And the Indian people looking after them. Of course, they are Western doctors. I am not one of the master. The Radha Swami has many branches. And uh, I have seen many Indian hospitals for the leprosy. For example, uh, in Rishikesh, there is a, a community of leprosy people. I don't see any Western people there. So there's only a few Indian people who refuse, or they have the right to refuse. If they don't want to take care, they don't take care, they do other things, all right? Uh, for example, a dentist refused to, uh, to treat a, a patient's tooth because he has his positive record. And then the government find him, find a dentist. Also, there are countries, yeah? different people in different countries, they have also reacted to the sickness, some of the very dangerous sicknesses, they refuse. Well, of course, they also have the right to do that. Even though being a doctor, they should not, they should not discriminate. But it happens. Then you cannot say all oh, the Thai people refuse <laughs> to treat the ex person. Kapish, Kapito? Yes. Indian people, billions and millions of people. <laughs> not only uh, one or two or one village, okay? Do you believe in the end of the world? Since you think Singapore is so happy and peaceful, Maybe nobody thinks about it. Could you explain about the end of the world? Even if the world ends, you're not willing to let go of Singapore and go to heaven? <laughs> huh? Singapore is nothing compared to what we have in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, we can change the end of the world. We are changing it. But without evidence, I don't want to speak about this thing. You know what I mean? Predictions also have come true in the past. Like Nostradamus, he has predicted many things and they have come true. So it could be that the end of the world also come true. Because the way we are abusing our planet, the way we are building bombs, yeah, the way we are affecting ourselves, 
killing ourselves, damaging our spirit, body, and minds with drugs, yeah, with a lot of negative thinking, yeah, and murdering each other, and destroying forests for rising animals, yeah, and killing mass animals and things like that, or mass killing human beings through wars, ignorance. Then the world might end very soon. Don't have to ask me. Some of the tragic tolls of drug abuse. Over 200,000 deaths each year. Cost of 181 billion U.S. dollars each year in the United States. 33 billion U.S. dollars in the U.K. Lifetime cost of current drug addiction amounts to 575 billion U.S. dollars in the U.K. Harmful effects. Brain damage, stroke, heart disease, liver disease, tuberculosis, emphysema, cancer, depression, suicide, permanent memory loss, mental illness, higher infant mortality, increased crime and violence, impotence. Crime and violence. Illegal drugs are a factor in 50% of burglaries in the United Kingdom each year. In the U.S., 60% of people arrested each year have been taking illegal drugs. 650 heroin addicts in the U.S. committed 70,000 crimes in a three-month period. Social costs. U.S. businesses lose 100 billion U.S. dollars per year due to employees' drug and alcohol abuse. Australians pay 53 billion U.S. dollars per year for health care, law enforcement, and lost productivity of drug users. Environmental costs. Every gram of cocaine produced destroys 4.4 square meters of rainforest, with 300,000 hectares of rainforest lost each year to cocaine production. Death. 52 people die each day due to drugs in the U.S. In Canada, substance abuse is attributed to 21% of total deaths and 23% of potential life years lost due to early mortalities. Plus more. You are all intelligent people. You read newspapers. You can church. You can church very uh, accurately. You read a lot of books and a lot of news about our environment, about how hazardous we have made our environment become. We have even damaged the ozone layer, which protects our earth, for example, like that. And we indulge ourselves in a lot of misconducts, which consequently brings disease and disaster into our lives and into our family life. For example, the man goes out with women anywhere, for example, not being careful, and then contracted this deadly AIDS disease, and then bring home to the, sometimes the wives and the children. You read that. Therefore, destroying not only himself, but his beloved family. And then who knows who these people will infect next, even. These are deadly things. So the way it is, the world might end, huh? if not by bomb and by disease, by self-destructive habits and selfish tendency of human being. But we could change it, we could avert this disaster. If we love our planet so much, then we have to purify ourselves, so that the atmosphere of this planet will become reasonable for us to live in, and for our children to grow in. And that's the way we avert the end of the world. Otherwise, even if I say to you, the world will not end, or the world will end, it makes no difference. You know what I mean? We will end our own world if we continue the way we behave, like the people sometimes in the society they behave. But we are changing it. You know, our world is changing for the better. And I hope it will change for better and better still. And this I have to thank you, because you have made the change. Not only in Singapore people, I mean, I thank our fellow practitioners for helping me to help the world. They change their own atmosphere, they become loving, and they radiate 
great love into the world, into their environment, and the world had changed a lot. So many changes, big changes. So many countries has become better, more free, huh? Of course, in the beginning it looks chaotic, just like when you move your house. <laughs> when you first move your house or demolish your house, your new house, it looks terrible. It looks very chaotic and a mess, but later it will become better. And I hope the more people practice loving kindness, the more people radiate heavenly uh, loving kindness light toward the earth, the world will become better, and we don't have to uh, experience the apocalypse. All right? So you're changing it. You're changing it. But subtly, and it's, it's no evidence. We, we cannot prove it. We can only know it with the meditation knowledge, when we see inside what's happening, but we cannot prove it to other people outside. That's why I don't talk about it. All right? We know, and that's enough. We continue to do it. And I really thank you very much for, for being so sincere in your practice and that you have helped me a lot with the people in the world, with the disaster victims, bringing your love to different corners of the world. Without you, I alone cannot do it, because I'm only one person. I can direct, I can instruct, I can encourage you, and I can uh, reason to you, telling you what is good, and then you do it, and then it's good. So, mm, I, I really have to thank you. All right? You have said that you don't belong to any religion, but you have said the importance of Tao. Please explain further. Tao doesn't belong to any religion. Huh? Tao or God or Buddha don't belong to any religion. Okay? So I don't belong to any religion. Sometimes I say Tao, sometimes I say God, sometimes I say Buddha. It's not a name. It's only a name for the Almighty God. It's a name for the Buddha nature. I don't really belong to any religion because Christ doesn't belong to any religion also. Buddha doesn't belong to any religion. Huh? Nobody belongs to any religion. And what is religion? It is a way of life, a godly way of life that we should follow. Any religion teach us this godly way of life. That is the true religion. And truly religion, only one. Therefore, we don't need to say that we belong to this religion or that religion. All religions are one. A good religion or one. And a misunderstanding coming between because we human beings sometimes ignorant. We interpret different scriptures in a different level. All right? And we make difference. For me, there's no difference. No different religion. Only one. That, work, that question was in Chinese, and somebody has also requested for Master, for you, Master, to speak in Chinese. What is the Tao of the Uh huh. Tao, which is Tao Jiao. Tao is a Tao Ma. Ah, the Tao Ma. This the 一个品质 uh,耶稣没有生出来一节,没有耶稣基督教吗? Dear Master, Master, you said war is mainly due to meat eating. Master, can you enlighten me the reasons behind it? Because of the bad karma, because of the law of karma. Those are not killed. We should not kill other beings. If we killed, then that will bounce back to us. For example, in scientific research, they say that if you throw something into the space, yeah, and then you stand there, and after some time, long time, it will come back to you. <laughs> so that is scientifically proved, the law of karma. 
Uh, as you saw, so shall you. Whatever you give out will come back to you eventually. I tell you, at Christmas time, many people buy present, and one give present to another, and then sometimes they find the present come back to them. <laughs> European Parliament supports reducing meat to lower greenhouse gases. Call vote. Vote is now open. Reduce your meat consumption or stop eating meat totally. During discussions on greenhouse gas reduction goals, the Climate Committee of the European Parliament officially recognized livestock's contribution to global warming and recommended a reduction of subsidies to the livestock industry to curb methane. My name is Jan Solm. I'm a member of the European Parliament. Please, be veg, go green, save the planet. Before humans convert from a are they species from a highly intellectual planet? Oh, this you have to ask them, huh? <laughs> I'm not a monkey, I'm not a monkey. <laughs> Dear Master, I'm not here, I think this is a quotation, I'm not here to change you all into disciples, I'm here to help you all to become masters. These two sentences I'm not so clear about, please explain. I'm not clear. If a teacher teach somebody English, huh? It is with the end that maybe later he master English, no? At least he's a teacher himself, for himself, right? He become master in English, no? He master the English, and then he can speak fluently, and he will master the English. Huh? So I teach you this science of life, so later you will master this science. So whether you keep it to yourself, or to use it to, in dealing with the universal brotherhood, or teach it to somebody else, okay? That is, of course, the aim of every teacher, no? All right? This is very clear. I cannot keep you forever as a disciple. You can't keep your children, child, forever for yourself, so that you become grandparents, but you want them to grow up, and then later teach them everything that you know about life. All right? Then they will become parents themselves. Is that not so? Also very clear. <laughs> Although I have not been initiated, but yesterday night when I was meditating, I can feel Master's presence. I have one question, that when I'm in meditation, in my brain there is some sound, whether it will affect meditation. This sound will, will appear when I'm in silence. No, this is called the sound of silence. It's okay. <laughs> this okay. It's okay. When we are still and the still voice, which is the voice of God, without voice, without alphabetic phonetic emphasis, will come to our consciousness. This is the teaching of God. Okay? So just accept it, enjoy it. That will make you wiser, because God don't teach in language. That will teach you with this kind of musical vibration, and then you will be very happy. Okay? Don't worry. When you still, you have this blessing, then Master will help you stupidly open your <laughs> uh, wisdom. That, that's when you can see the light and you can hear the sound. And that can be done also with or without the Master presence. The real Master don't have to be present to give the initiation and don't have to give you an official initiation also, all right? can do it under any circumstances. But uh, if you want to develop further, you want to be more sure of what you learn, you should come to the physical master and then learn some more instruction and then practice further, and then later you get more clear. That's all, all right? I have been initiated, so the five generations will be liberated. But my sister and brother-in-law Will they be liberated? Because from young they've been looking after me. Yes, they will. Okay, they will be. Whomever you love, 
and want it to be with you, they will get also the blessing, eh? they share it with you. That blessing is immense, it's, it's not individual. You can share it with a lot of people and it never gets less, it never becomes less, <laughs> it might become even more. Dear Master, would meat-eating animals be caught in a vicious cycle as a result of the law of karma? You are really compassionate. <laughs> you don't worry about yourself, <laughs> about human beings, and you worry about animals, <laughs> tigers and all that. Huh? Let them do their things, okay? Mind your business. Stop it, beat yourself. <laughs> Then maybe you can help these animals, otherwise they will help you. <laughs> Liberate you in one fight. Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet, lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol levels, reduce type 2 diabetes, prevent stroke conditions, reverse atherosclerosis, reduce heart disease risk 50%, reduce heart surgery risk 80 percent, prevent many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increase life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, conserve up to 70 percent clean water, save over 70 percent of the Amazonian rainforest from clearance for animal grazing. A solution for world hunger Free up 3,433 billion hectares of land. Free up 760 million tons of grain every year or half the world's grain supply. Consume one-third fossil fuels of those used for meat production. Reduce pollution from untreated animal waste. Maintain cleaner air. Save 4.5 tons of emissions per U.S. household per year. Stop 80% of global warming plus more. Save your life, be veg, go green. Dear Supreme Master, as a businessman traveling often, I have problems keeping the precepts, for example, vegetarianism. Could I join in the group meditation before initiation? Could he do that? No. no. We are democratic. <laughs> We uphold democracy. <laughs> if the citizens say no, it's no. <laughs> All right. By the way, being a businessman is not an obstruction to your spiritual progress. All these people are businessmen. Huh? Big businessmen. <laughs> oh, standing over there are all the businessmen. You see that? Yeah. The driver who drove me here today. He is a big businessman in Singapore, for example, and he's a lawyer. I don't remember many because I don't care what they're doing, really. I don't know how much money they earn. And if you come for initiation and be with a group, you will know many distinguished personalities in the society sitting next to you. And you will also realize that they are highly developed soul, the great saints of a modern time. They don't look like a saint, but they are real saints. But you can tell them to grow a beer and put up a turban so it looks a bit more like the, uh, the Bodhisattva of India. Otherwise, they are truly saints, saintly people. You know, the saints in the past are also like this, except they wear different clothes perhaps and it makes them look probably more dignified. Yeah? But these are the saints. And these saintly people walk, breathe and talk to you in the ordinary language and live in an ordinary way, the way you do. So if they can do it, you can. Hmm? I have many business people and politicians. They also live in a very active, busy and helpful life to the society, but they are also vegetarian. They travel from one country to the next. Sometimes I have one disciple, he only lives in a hotel. He never lives at home. He has no time. He has no home. His homes are the hotels. Everywhere he goes, he stays in hotels. A few days, a few days, a few weeks. And then he goes to another country because he has to make banking negotiation for the World Bank. Yeah? And the, the World Bank are 
really the World Bank. They have every power <laughs> in the world. And he's a highly representative. He has to go make different connection and different transactions for the bank. Therefore, he can never stay at home. He only stay in hotel. And he's very strong, healthy, and sufficient, uh, and efficient. Every aspect of his life, nothing affect him. Sometimes he bring his wife to cook for him. Sometimes he go out in the vegetarian restaurant and eat them. All right. So find a way for yourself. If you want God above everything else, you don't mind to sacrifice a few pieces of beef. Some of the diseases related to meat consumption. Cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children. Antibiotic-resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus, blue tongue disease, E. coli, Salmonella, bird flu, mad cow disease or Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, 90% of the population at risk, pigs disease or PMWS, listeriosis, shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia, Campylobacter, Clostridium difficile, diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock. Some of the costs of meat eating. Infertility. Eating just one serving of meat per day increases the risk of women's infertility by 32%, with additional meat consumption increasing the risk. Heart disease. Over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least 1 trillion US dollars a year. Cancer. Over 1 million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat related cancers every year. Diabetes. 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight, with 400 million more who are obese. Costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental Use up to 70% of clean water. Pollute most of the water bodies. Deforest the lungs of the earth. Uses up to 43% of the world's cereal. Uses up to 85% of the world's soy. Cause world hunger and wars. 80% cause of global warming. Plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption. Bacterial microbes, pesticides and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. Breast, prostate and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk. Listeria and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis. Classified as a major allergen. Lactose intolerance, plus more. Wonderful Master, I have no question to ask, but Master, I wish to take this opportunity to thank you on behalf of my, my family and myself, peace and happiness we have at home and outside. My dear Master, I met you yesterday uh, and could speak to thank you. Once again, I thank you, my beloved Master. Any help I can be to you, I'll be honored to offer. Besides, I'm only an instrument. We are all instruments in different degrees. If God can make use of this instrument to spread His love and blessing to you, that is only God's doing. And we should only thank God. All right. Uh, the Master is not the physical body, it's God who uses the physical body. All right. But that's why I asked you why you want to see me. Uh, when I first came in, I can never get over this. I can never can answer this question despite being a supreme master. <laughs> I can never know why you want to see me. You know why in person? Because I don't know why. Because um, you always have tapes and video. That should be enough. Huh? And you should follow my teaching, not follow me. 
Well, we always want the following. I don't know why. <laughs> the more the better. <laughs> so, even yesterday I came to see you, and you say, Tuesday you have group meditation, right? So I said, okay, see you on Tuesday. But then you bargain with me. How about tomorrow? <laughs> That's why we had a, a meeting today, you see? I was afraid it's too quick for you, yesterday uh, evening, and then how can you arrange today evening again? Uh, not all the disciples were present yesterday, so I thought you could never make it, but you made it. It's amazing. <laughs> Maybe because you're enlightened, huh? <laughs> how can you collect so many people so quickly? I love you. <laughs> Dear Master, are uh, every event which occur to us in this world, God's plan, are these things all good for us? Well, something are good for us, something are not good for us. We come to this world to do something. We have promised God to join in the supportive spirit of the plan of the creation. And we volunteer to come here to bless the planet and to carry out God's mission to improve the, the plan of creation, to do something. But then after we're born, we forget. Yeah? Sometimes we do things not according to God's will, and then we uh, cause problems for ourselves and for other people. And then God has to correct it somehow, one way or another. And sometimes the correction brings uh, pain to us, bodily as well as mentally. We do also something wrong. And sometimes we don't listen to the inner voice of God and we forget our promise. We forget our noble purpose. We do something that is not good for us and good, not good for other people. At that time, God will send someone else, <laughs> another volunteer, to come down, probably, and to correct the situation. And sometimes because of this mission to correct the situation, the person suffers from a lot of trouble. Of, uh, of his mission, he has to suffer and sacrifice too. That's why we see a lot of disaster and sometimes a very unhappy, unfortunate events happen in this world. But whatever happens, the best thing is just to surrender to God's will. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Just do our best mm -hmm. to keep to the non-violent path. And sooner or later, God will straighten it out for us. If we try to do it ourselves, then we probably can do it, but then we will bring some uh, more mistakes into the, the situation, or sometimes we bring the bad karma upon ourselves. Yeah? At present, I am a non vegetarian. Can I be initiated immediately and then be a vegetarian slowly? <laughs> <laughs> if you want the to be initiated immediately, then you have to start vegetarian immediately, uh, not slowly, because the vegetarian diet is good for you. It will purify your spirit, purify your aura, and make you clear inner and outside, and protect you. It's not only for me, it's not for the precepts that you should eat vegetarian, it's for the loving kindness to other beings, like animals, that you should be vegetarian, all right? It's not a bad game, it's not a supermarket. <laughs> you should read more book before you want to be initiated, huh? Why we are vegetarian. And if you can do it, if you agree to it, then you should be initiated. There's no rush and no force in you. You should know clearly why you want to be initiated. You want God more than anything else. Even if we have to die right now and we see God, we can do it. Huh? Let alone a few pieces of meat. We don't have to talk about that. <laughs>
We appreciate your loving presence on today's Words of Wisdom. Music and poetry is coming up next on Supreme Master Television. Please stay tuned. Through God's everlasting love, may your life be complete with a newfound joy each day. <laughs>